The next really important point that I think is neglected by cellists is the wrist. What the hell should we do with this wrist? I mean, many of us simply freeze it. You know, when you see something, you see something hard, like, ah! you freak out. Freaking out freezes joints. Like, ah! you don't do, ah! <laughs> never. Yeah, so imagine that you would do it. Like you see something hard, you say, ah, oh, I'll touch it, why not? <laughs> that's playing cello. That's playing cello. Like, ah! No, 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 no. And, but that's what, how many of us, again, I go back to the TikTok, YouTube, uh, uh, most watched videos. Look at them and so, see, not all, but many of them, completely frozen wrist, completely. Frozen wrist creates tension, so the lungs cannot go to the tongue. If you play, you have to be a really talented player, playing, uh, I don't know, playing really well, but if the wrist is not a reactor, there's a problem. What do I mean by saying reactor? Again, when I eat, when I call somebody and talk on the phone, when I write emails, I move, my brain tells me to move something which is not my wrist. It never tells me to move my wrist. Think about it. When you eat, do you, do you, <laughs> no. When you write, no. When you reach out to grab something, the brain never t it talks to the fingers, talks to the elbow, you know. The wrist is a reactor. It's a connector. The wrist connects the lungs to the tongue.